Dave Nicholl, navigator on the Falmouth lifeboat, and I've been on the crew for 33 years. I got asked to join when I was 18. I did a lot of sailing around the water all my life, and uh, it was just the obvious thing to do. When you join at 18, it's a big responsibility. It's a lot to learn. You're, you're joining a team that you respect, but a lot of them are much, much older than yourselves. Uh, yeah, my daughter's just joined the crew as well, so that's quite interesting to see her gelling into that situation as well. We've had a few interesting jobs over the years, and uh, we just get them and do it. As a crew, we work together as t a team. You never know who you're going to be going to see with. We've got a really good working relationship. I'm Adam West. Uh, I've been on the lifeboat crew for about three and a half years now. Just general crew on the inshore boat and the offshore boat. Uh, something I've been wanting to do since I was little. My dad was on the crew when I was younger at a different station in Cornwall and it's just something that I've been thinking of doing for ages. We all get on pretty well. I mean, the benefit with this is everyone's in it for the same reason. You know, everyone's a good bit of a big family like, and everyone's sort of got their own expertise, I suppose, that they bring to it and everyone's got something that you look up to, I suppose. Each job's sort of different, even if it's a tow job, it's still different size boat, different location, different sea conditions. I'm Brenda. I've been at the lifeboat shop since about 2002, so about 10 years. I am now the volunteer, volunteer manager. My name is Jean. Um, I moved down to Falmouth about six years ago and have been working here for the last five years. I look after, try to look after the ordering and keep the stock up to date if I can. I think it's very worthwhile um, knowing that it is helping save lives at sea, but it's nice to know that you know, we, we can help offshore as well. I don't think you could do it as an individual. Uh, it is, we do need a team effort for the shop and the fundraising, yes, all together. I've had a boat locally here, and um, I'm very fortunate in the sense that I've never needed their services. But we have been in situations mid channel when it was nice to know that uh, if anything did go wrong, they would be there within a reasonable period of time, and that is very comforting for a sailor, I can assure you. The thing that is probably the most satisfying is when you actually rescue someone who's in an awkward situation and then they come back and visit us afterwards and uh, you know you know you've made a difference, you know you saved a life.